inspiration for my poem comes from Master Wace, one of the first to write the legends of Arthur in England. Arthur, you see, had a problem. For all of his, all of his knights fought to sit at the high end of the table. And in fact, they were far more deadly to each other than Arthur's enemies were to his knights. And so, it took the apprentice boy of a carpenter to solve Arthur's plight. Arthur was new to his power, obeyed in field and bower, although not in his tower. For his finest knights, his knights who refused to cower, delighted in fights. Every knight sought Arthur's favor. To, uh, to win place, they would not waver. A seat of honor they'd savor at King Arthur's side. At murder, they would not quaver rivals to abide. The king wished for an end to this babel. A young boy said, my master's able, for he will build you a table to make all equal, that there be sequel to my lord's glorious fable. Waiting for his knights to astound, the young King Arthur stood his ground. Of quarrels he soon heard the sound. As his knights entered, there sat a table round at the room centered. This constant fighting makes us weak. I would hear each of my knights speak. To show courtesy is not meek. In my realm to all, I'll listen and haul the truth in all voices to seek. 